Hello my dear friends, I am really happy to introduce to you Ms. Cheryl Bartholomew, who is currently working in Don Bosco Breads, Bangalore as the manager in research and documentation. She holds a master's degree in both social work and counseling with a strong background in communication and social development. Besides, she is also a practicing counselor. She will speak to us on certain issues related to our mental health. Over to Cheryl. changes according to the context and who is asking the question. For example, if you are going to attend a job interview, you would say I am XYZ applying for the job of teacher, XYZ uh, qualifications and XYZ uh, years of experience. But if I ask you, is that who you really are? If I persist in my questioning, some may answer, I'm a child of God, I'm a social being, a human being, a member of society, all depending on your prior orientation in life. If I still ask you, some may say, I'm a good person, a lazy person, brilliant, wacky, weird, handsome, ugly and so on and so forth depending on your outlook on yourself and the mood you are in at that moment or if you're on of if you're on uh, or if you're on snapchat or facebook or insta you can just select an select an emoticon and say Meh. So is that who you really are? Why is this question important and relevant? Our world today is governed by media, online and offline. We are bombarded by words and images. Each of them suggests meanings. We translate those meanings into values depending on who we think we are and more importantly, who we think we should be. We translate those meanings into values depending on who we are and who we think we should be to be popular. That girl, that guy. Beautiful, handsome, trendy dresser with the latest gizmos and gadgets, posh lifestyle. And so you take hundreds of photos and selfies on that hundreds of selfies on four, four, hundreds of selfies on phones that glamorize you so that you have the exact angle where you have the best pout or that smirk that you think is the sexiest Instagram, Facebook and all other platforms have millions of such images with bylines, taglines, hashtags, likes, dislikes, you name it. Is that who you are? Or is that an image created by the market to mold you into a good customer? 
because if you can't buy all of those products and accessories you can't be that person as young people you do feel an urge to fit in with your peers to be accepted by them to enjoy the friendship and the acceptance that comes from there the confidence that comes from there it is normal and natural it is also time for you to become your own friend do you feel accepted do you feel like you need to please others and conform to what they think are you comfortable with your own ideas do you have your own feelings your ideas your thoughts your values those are the clues to your question who are you do you have your own ideas feelings thoughts values personality these are the clues to that question who are you spend some time with this person yourself see what you find out this might be the most interesting person you will ever meet you can be the you can be all of the things we've described so far and more much more because you are the sum of because you are more than the sum of all your parts stick with